Guys, I'm here. I have arrived at Scottsdale Golf today. I'm up in Manchester. It's been a long drive. It's been a wet drive, but the sun is out now, as it should be. We've arrived. I'm very much looking forward to getting my new Cobra Cubs fitted. It's a great team. I've heard so much about it. I can't wait to meet everybody. I'm going to go in there, and I think I can have a little bit of a beer, set on my nerves, hit a few balls, and get fitted. And a little birdie's told me I can take my clubs away on the same day, so I hope that's true, because I'm playing tomorrow. New sticks, new Chris. Thirsty work this time. So Liam is the pro here and Liam we are on my this, I think this is my fourth tester driver, yeah. and we're just mixing up the shafts, aren't we? Yeah, at the moment. We're dialing in the loft a little bit. So we started with a nine degree, and we upped the loft to 10, and we started in a Tour AD, IZ7X shaft, which worked okay. But we needed something just a little bit firmer, yeah. a little bit stiffer. So that me. last one I used yeah. was probably my, probably my best in terms of hitting consistency, yeah. but you say I'm still kind of hitting a bit hitting, down. Hitting down on it a little bit, so we're just going to bring the loft down. So we're taking the loft down to nine degrees yeah. now, yeah. and we put the weight a little bit more forward okay. in the head, trying to keep that spin rate down a little bit more now. So nine degree loft. So what yeah. was it before? We went, we're up at 10 degrees, but yeah. we were spinning a little bit high. Yeah. So we've just brought it down a little bit in loft, chased the shaft. So hopefully this will, yeah, we'll get a bit more like length out, a bit, a bit more distance, um, keep that spin rate a little bit more under control. Same again? Yeah, more respect. A little bit healy, so a bit out of the, the heel, but not a bad yeah. result considering where it finished, it landed. 3.8 yards left target line, so which is not bad. It's good. Golf's the game is how good your bad shot is. So club fitting essentially is where you come, you get fitted out for a club which best suits you. So you go for all different sorts of things. You get the shafts of the club, which some are flexy, some are stiff dependent on what you use. An example of that would be, say someone like Macro or DJ, where they have like a stiff shaft on their driver, like a double X. What does that mean? Yeah, so it's like double the, 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 double the flex. The so, yeah, so okay. double extra stiff. So double Rory, extra stiff. Rory's so. shaft we have here. It's very much horses for courses. Yeah, so, so that's Rory's shaft. And there's just nothing to that's that. That's a 7.0, yeah. yeah. So that's double extra stiff. Yeah. Really firm. Because he swings at a lot of speed. Lot. Yeah. So from what Liam sees in your swing, you need just to yeah, so obviously your Liam yeah. looks at my swing, see what kind of what suits me essentially, and yeah, then so we look at you can then change the length of the shafts, and then yeah, what what, what the what yeah, the main so we, we maybe look, look at sort of the ball speed that we're seeing off the face, launch angle, what sort of spin rate we're getting, what sort of descent angle, peak height yeah. we're getting. So we try to tailor everything to sort of try and be in those ballparks. And an example of that was if you were getting. If I was getting a lot of, sp you would want more spin off, off your higher irons as you yeah. if you're off your low irons, you're not going to want as much no. spin, right? Exactly. Right? Yeah, you want Simple to penetrate that. and go for the go go for the wind and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So keep keep the flight nice and low. But when you're sort of playing, like say, for instance, like a sand wedge or 56 degrees, spin's probably going to be in the region of about 10,000. And then you progressively move on to say seven iron, it's probably going to be between like 5,000 and 7,000. Yeah, something like that. And then as you progress into driver. Driving, we want to see probably in the region of like 2,000 to 2,500. So it's pure mechanics. Yeah, and it's all based on launch and spin. Yeah. So the higher we can launch it, the it's lower a, the spin. It's a science lesson, that's yeah. what it is. Yes, this is Jim Irwin, manager, good agent, average golfer. I'm try and give it a whack now. Oh, there we go. Pulled that. Beautiful. All right, if it was a dog leg left, that'd be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Little worm killer round to the left. Yeah. Few diglets had their head spot then, Jim. All you've got to do now, Jim, is just relax. Your eyes on you, admittedly, but just relax. All these people want to take advice from me, it's definitely not you. <laughs> so either my master craftsman here or the professional. Oh, I'm dancing. <laughs> not Chris shoes off, right? Take a deep breath, Jim. Trust me, a lot of it comes down to anxiety. <laughs> oh, Christ. Why is he snapping that then? Right, 
I have to introduce you. The master bilgeman here. What, what, what's your title? Whatever. <laughs> the club fixer upper. We started? <laughs> oh, you're Scott, the club fixer upper man. Um, master builder, a master at work. Talk to us. What's it? Well, we've had a little go over here. Yeah. These are my shafts. These are my club face. Mm -hmm. Is that what we call them? Club heads, yeah. Club heads, club heads. There we go. Yeah. Uh, what's the next step? What's happening now? So, firstly, once you've done your fitting, the, the fitters will come over. Tell us what specs you need, so yeah. we make sure we get all the components, right shafts, right flexes, heads, everything, yeah. all in order. Then we go on to fitting the heads go, coming over here. Yeah, so coming in. Let's have a go. First, make sure they're flush with the edges and that everything is online. We've got our standard lamp here. So then, once that's done, we've obviously marked it up. We then come to this machine goes in here like so yeah and then we cut that up yeah so it's nice and done and then once that's done we come over to this machine we use this sander oh yeah and basically what we're doing is just rubbing it on here and that preps the shaft because obviously we can't just put that into the head yeah because with the glue it will not bond and it will just end up slipping out so this gives it something just to grip onto so once that's done we go back over to this way and then we get all ahead and then we use this machine which is called the swing weight yeah and this is basically a balancing machine okay so it's once we put this on there it's weighing the head and the shaft to make sure that everything's in line and that the components are measuring up right. Obviously it's not on it at the moment because we, we need to put the grip, we need to put the layers of tape on. It's not precise enough. Every little fine detail and 0.1 of a gram can lead to like the weight of the five pound note. Right. So it gets very precise. Yeah. So we try and get it as close as we can to that. We probably within 0.1. It's quite quite close and to do that we use these weights so these are just all standard weights that you get for all the manufacturers and they just simply tuck into the shaft and then oh wow okay that, that's how we can adjust the weights if it's too heavy that end yeah then we just use a bit of lead tape wrap around the end okay Nice and then sense. how do we attach the club face? Because after lockdown, I didn't use my clubs for a while and I went up the range, after about three shots, the club face shot off onto the range. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, to be fair, the club's a couple of years old, but yeah. how do we, you know, what stops that from so happening? So we go over here. Yeah. And then, obviously, once the shafts, it's got to be prepped really well. Yeah. Because then that's what's going to give the grip okay. on, the, on the glue. And we use an epoxy, yeah. Yeah. which is literally 50-50. And you just pour a little bit on, yeah. and then to get the club and the head and the shaft, see so there's a little bit of wobble. Yeah. To centralise that, yeah. you use this, which is glass beading, and you just use a tiny little amount, and then it's not breaking bad. It's just literally <laughs> mixing that in so that it's all nice and glued. And then, yeah, it's just literally putting that into the head. And then once it's in the head, you just got to make sure that you roll the shaft just so the glue gets all around. Yeah. And it does make the club nice Plus and cemented in. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then once we've done that, it goes onto this machine, which is the curing machine. And it has two separate zones. So it, that will go up to 50 degrees for the first section. Yeah. And it lasts for 15 minutes. And this just simply goes on there and then that heats up and that cures the helps the curing process of the glue and speeds it up so it gets really Literally nice. I had no and idea. I had no idea about all this. And then it also goes up to 100 degrees as well yeah. to really get it set. Yeah. This is what they mainly use on like the tour trucks. The tour trucks. Yeah. Obviously when the pros are coming on they need to literally within two, three minutes get out on the range and hit. So if I'm a tour pro, would I come to you and if I, is it numbers? I give you numbers, I want bang, 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 and you can just, you've got everything here, yeah. all the components, the weights, everything else. We've got pretty much everything that the tour vans have yeah, for us to do that job. Wow. Yeah. So after seeing the detail that goes into this, will you ever smash a club in anger again, Jim? I never do, is that, is that lunatic you've got to worry about?
Right, how's it going guys? We're down here today with Chris Hughes. Uh, we're going to be doing a little Q&A on the putting green here. Uh, Chris is going to put uh, and then each time we're going to ask him a question and uh, we're going to see how he gets on. Okay. No, there's no pressure to actually make the putt, so that's a good thing for my putting ability. Is no, away there, isn't, there isn't a putting question on here, so, <laughs> yeah. so don't worry. That's good. So should I putt first? Absolutely, yeah, go for it. Right. Take your putt and then I'll ask the question. So short answers. How did you first get into golf? I first got into golf uh, just as a kid. My mum would go to like JJB or Sports Direct or whatever it was back then, and she'd buy me like a custom set. And I had older brothers, which was a big thing for me in sport in general. I mean, I always played golf naturally off playing with my brothers. So yeah, just growing up, it was something to do. Oh, we're on fire now with a putter. Big question, this one. Big one. Who would make up your dream four ball? Dream four ball. Well, I'm a big Entourage fan, so I'd go Kevin Dillon, who plays Johnny Drama. I don't know if you've seen oh, this. He's class. And he loves he his golf. Class. Yeah. I'd say Roger Federer, and I'd have, I'd have to have Tiger. Well, I mean, I'm Matt Wallace. He's decent. I'm Tom, so I'm rolling the dice here. Come on. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> uh, if you get rid of one rule in golf, what would it be? I think, for the sake of the non-professional game, if you're driving it out of bounds, white stakes, I think you just drop one down there. I think it saves so much time. We have yellow stakes, we have red stakes. It's kind of like point of entry. I'd have the same about of bounds. Jimbo, what a day we've had. Even you have managed to make your way up to Scottsdale Golf and get yourself a pair of clubs for you. A pair, a set of clubs. I know, there's no 20% today for me, mate. I'm not taking 20% of what you normally get. I'm taking 100%. How have you managed to weasel this in? Boys at Cobra. Boys at Cobra. And Scottsdale have really taken good care of us. They've sorted you out. Unbelievable. They must have heard you're a bit of an Ari Gold, proper agent. Yeah, you know it. But no, this is an amazing place. What, what a time we've had. Uh, we got up here about a three and a half hour drive, so it wasn't bad at all. But driving up here, I was like a kid at Christmas, honestly. Going to Scottsdale Golf, I've heard so much about this place. You might hear a little bit of rattling in the background. That is my clubs being made. I think yours have been made. You've got your set of irons. They're ready to go, baby. Yours are ready to go. Mine are currently being fitted together at the moment. I, had a, I just had an amazing experience in there. I had all my clubs fitted, took a few hours, hitting all the clubs and whatever. But the beauty of this, while I'm in Manchester, because I rarely head up north. No. Nope. I'm playing the Mia tomorrow with the Cobra Puma boys. I'm very much looking forward to it, but I can play with my new clubs. Do you know why? I do know why, but they're making them as we speak. We've come without clubs, we're leaving with a full set. It's the only place you can come to. Scottsdale Golf is the only place you can come to where you will get your clubs fitted and you can take them away in the same day. In Which all is, seriousness, I that's mean, a serious at the moment with COVID and stuff like that, people, there's lots of delays. I oh, know, that's a serious, that's you, a serious you, you can come here, achievement. You, these guys are gonna, You'll have an incredible experience. They'll tell you what's going on with your flight path and all the rest of it. And you know, you know, I've got a really flat flight path. These guys have seen that. They've given me shafts and clubbits to hopefully give myself a higher flight, a bit more height. But I'm, I'm taking them home tonight. You're going to sleep with magic. Are you going to sleep with them? Huh? Are you going to sleep with them? <laughs> I'm staying in a hotel tonight. I'm genuinely thinking about look, that banging out there. That's my clubs being made. I'm genuinely thinking about. I've got a double. I know I've got a double bed. They've sorted me out in a hotel. I don't know about you. You probably might have like a single bed, but I've got a double bed and I'm going to tuck my clubs right in and, and the, the, the heads of the clubs, that's just going to be my girlfriend for the night. <laughs> I'm not going to make love to it, it's just going to be there for company. No, well, we're very excited as you can tell. I mean, I can't wait. I'm actually, now, now I'm sitting chatting to you and this is the least fun part of the day. How would you describe what goes on in there in a couple of sentences? couple of sentences well, I'd say paragraphs. I'd say the beauty of this so from my experience obviously being here today you've, you guys would have seen a parts of it I think it's just an amazing place you come here it's so welcoming it's so warming anyone of any standard can come here that's the beauty of it people welcome you with open arms it's an amazing team they settle you in I've had a few beers you might think I'm well they've got a bowl here well. yeah that's what I mean you get sorted out so there you've got a bar you come you get settled in but Going back to you know what they do for golf club fitting wise, I mean it's it's top to toe. It's stuff that I've learned so much today. I thought I knew about getting golf clubs fitted. Yeah, me too. I really didn't. Like this has really opened my eyes. There's so much to it. Like I've I've gone through about five or six different shafts on all different sets of clubs. I've gone off different lengths as well. Not just you know my irons are now slightly shorter because it suits me. Yeah. Over my more sort of upright position. So and then you obviously you get into all kind of the spin factors and everything what goes with that. It's precision. The, the word that I'm taking away is just precision. And it's not just because I consider myself a good, bad golfer, but if you're, even if you're a bad, bad golfer, these guys are going to give you 
But it'll help you get. It'll help you back. Like you say, it's precise. Everything about this is precise. Everything's going to improve your game. It's going to make you a better golfer. I had a text off a friend. He was either jealous or he really needed clubs fitting, but he saw the setup up here and he texted me, Matt Curran. And he just said, can you ask those boys for an email address? I need to get up here in the next couple of weeks, get my clubs fitted. He yeah. needs a new set. And that's what it does. Like, helps your game out. Why would you Why would you want to play golf and not be the best you can be? Well, you know golf is a game of edges. You need every possible advantage you can have. Coming up here, have a day, have a beer, go and stay at a hotel. You take your clubs home that night and these clubs are going to be best suited for your handicap and your level. And you can't ask for more than that. I honestly thought before I get here, I thought, I've got to play with my old clubs tomorrow. I genuinely didn't think I'd get to hit the new sticks. Do you know how excited so, I am for that? Yeah, yeah, I do. God, I couldn't think. There's many. There's very few things in life which is as satisfying as that. Yeah, no, we massive thank you to um, to the guys at Scottsdale, yeah. the guys at Cobra uh, Puma. We, we're absolutely blown away. And they've got everything up here. Like They've got everything, everything you need, everything you require. So go check them out, guys. Go eat yourself some club fit. What a day we've had. We're going to now trek to the hotel. Get yeah, changed. I'm still open though, so I'm going to quickly you are. go and pour myself a beer. You've got a tendency to do this. Like his golf game, it just kind of slithers off as he hits the back nine. But fair enough. What a day I've had. I'm just going to listen to the chimes in my ear of my golf clubs being fitted. Take care, guys.